Hello. Hi there. Amy Schaus here from NorCal Integrative Medicine. So I'm coming on here today because I want to talk, talk really quickly about um, insomnia and people who are having sleep issues, um, specifically who are using something called diphenhydramine, which is a long fancy word that means that is like the active ingredient in Benadryl. So People often use when they're not sleeping well. Um, I, I find through my intakes, because I do very thorough intakes, I ask a lot of questions about sleep. What time do you go to bed? What time do you wake up? Do you wake up in the middle of the night? How many times? Do you use the bathroom? How many times? Blah, blah. So part of the functional medicine process is being a good detective and asking appropriate questions and um, enough of the right questions. So very often I'll find people who aren't sleeping well, they are using Tylenol PM, Advil PM, or Benadryl multiple times a week. And then I ask them, well, how long have you been doing that? And at that point, many are many people have been doing it for several, several years, some people five, 10 years. So the active ingredient in these um, over-the-counter medications is diphenhydramine, that's AKA also known as Benadryl. The, what this drug does, it, it's, it's called an anticholinergic, so it blocks acetylcholine receptor activity in the brain, which is a neurotransmitter in the brain. And now they are now finding, and this has been reported in the media in the past couple of years, um, maybe more in the past year, that people who take Benadryl or diphenhydramine type drugs have a higher risk for dementia, especially elderly people. But I would translate that and actually um, say that anyone who's using Benadryl or diphenhydramine product chronically um, over years or chronically at all should not be taking it. Um, because it's not good for your brain, not good for memory, and if you have any kind of Alzheimer's risk, which one out of two people essentially have an Alzheimer risk that's walking around, um, shouldn't be using these drugs. Also, they say between 10-15% of the population, maybe a little more, is, has something called an APOE4, which is a genetic predisposition towards um, Alzheimer risk, and that increases risk dramatically by like 50% if you have one um, marker and, and up to 90% if you have, by the time you're 85, um, by uh, if you have two markers of that gene. So I personally have one marker of APOE4, so I only use Benadryl in situations where there's maybe, um, if I'm having an allergy or, you know, every now and then, once every five years, I'll use a Benadryl. But I'm also aware of my APOE4 status, um, and I'm also aware of the effects of, of diphenhydramine on the brain. So for brain health and for long-term health and to reduce dementia risk, I, find, I think it's imperative for people to understand that you, chronic use of the, these over-the-counter sleep aids is not good for the brain and can be detrimental for, for many people. So there are other uh, options. There are a lot of herbal remedies um, many sleep deprived individuals are very well versed in the herbal remedies because they tend to have tried everything. Um, and I, over the years have found several products that, that work well. Um, and it also is kind of individually based and it can also have to do a lot with, um, what you're eating, what time you're eating and a lot of other factors, but there are, there's a lot you can do to get off, get off the Benadryl or the Advil PM, Tylenol PM drugs. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make this video to talk about that risk of dementia using those over-the-counter drugs. They are easy to easy access and they are effective. They do help people sleep. So, um, but it is important to understand the risk and that you, you know, your, your brain is being affected <laughs> significantly over time if you're using them chronically. Um, there are other options. There's pharmaceutical options as well. Lunesta, Ambien, um, Trazodone, uh, which is an off-label antidepressant. They use it off-label for sleep. But, you know, and those, those drugs also have their own side effects. But um, there are a, there, the best thing to do is talk to a good clinician 
who's well versed in both herbal remedies, high quality botanical remedies, as well as pharmaceutical remedies that can give you some guidance. But um, it's just good to know about diphenhydramine and to try to avoid it if you can. Um, okay, thanks for listening.